You're most good job, ladies, gentlemen, kings, queens. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got the deadly war in Camden. Oh boy. Active Gixinja. You know what I'm saying? Active gang, of course. Come on, y'all know y'all know what we do around here. Not at this point. Come on. Versus fifty first. Now look. I don't know what 51st is. We're about to learn, I presume. Um, but yeah, man. Active Gixinja. We know how they get. Musically, we know how they get. Alright. Who the fuck recommended this to us? Who the It was Caden. Of course it was Caden. Caden, I appreciate you. Damn, you, you just got the full scoop for me. Appreciate it, shit. Let's get some into it, y'all. Two men have been stabbed to death in two separate attacks in Kentish Town in North London last night. The body of the first victim, believed to be in his late teens, was found a couple of hours before police discovered the second victim, who's thought to be in his 20s. Camden, the heart of fashion and culture in London, with some of the most expensive house prices and biggest tourist attractions in England. And from the outside in, it looks like the perfect place to live. But that's what the government wants to show you. Once we go deeper into the lower income estates of the borough, we start to see a different story. A story of the country's most the private estates in London being separated from roads of millionaires literally by one street and how these estates have created a deadly gang war which has taken over the borough in recent years but before I get into the video be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications Tight let's shit. get into the Tight video talk to me nerd talk to me talk to me what we got So Camden is a borough in northwest London and is very, very close to the centre of London. But despite the area being so close to the rich centre of the capital, in the last few years, the war in the area has been going brazy. So historically, unlike neighbouring areas like Islington and Brent, Camden's beef situation hasn't been as active as others. But this all changed around 2016, when a man from Camden called Merce had his watch stolen from another man from another area in Camden. After this, there was some back and forth, which resulted in a big rivalry in the borough, literally between groups of kids that grew up together. One side being gangs built up from a few estates in Camden, which were the Peckwater Gang from the Peckwater Estate, the QC Gang, which were from a road in Camden called Queen's Crescent, and Combo, which is a gang made up from an estate hey, called Regent's Park nigga. in Cumberland Market. They linked up together and called themselves 51st, due to okay. their postcodes being in NW1 and NW5, so which is where the 5 and the 1 first. come from. And from the other side of the feud, we have a gang called Active Gang, which some people may know from their songs, and they're from the Ager Grove Estate in Camden. And Active Gang are affiliated with another gang called CT1 and NRB, which they all linked up and called themselves 71st. And just like that, the war was now on between 51st and 71st over this watch being stolen. So Camden is actually home to a big Somalian community, with a big portion of them residing in Ager Grove, which is the territory of the 71st gang. Such a big community that the majority of 71st members are actually Somalian. And if you watch one of my previous videos on Mali Strip, Somalian people are people you don't want to be messing with, which you'll understand more in this video. And this beef was on goal from early. In 2017, two members of the AG gang, which represents 71st, executed a triple shooting on three 51st members. Two of the members ran to a nearby no. hospital, but while hospital staff was treating the two members, they also called police to the hospital to investigate the situation. Once the two realised the police was called, they didn't even care about their treatment anymore, and attempted to run out of the hospital while still having bullet wounds lodged in them. But no. the police ended up detaining them and arresting them after a struggle between the both. The reason they wanted yeah, to run so. was because all three members are actually wanted for suspicion of grievous bodily harm, which all three were eventually arrested for. Now of course, 51st yeah, weren't so. happy about this triple shooting, and they were trying to get her back in blood. So they went lurking on the Ager Grove estate, and shot a rival in the face with a shotgun. The rival actually managed to survive and make his own way back oh, to the hospital. Wow. But this beef really kicked off in a situation that wasn't even linked to both God of the gangs. Dear. So on February 2017, a 16-year-old girl had an Airbnb party in Kensington, West London. You go. know those type of parties where a girl invites seven different types of gangs and asks people to leave their beef at home? Yeah, one of those. So at this party, there were people GGs. from all over London there, but a few GGs. uninvited guests tried to pull up to the party. One of these people being a boy from 51st called Dotty and his friend, who pulled up to the party with a gun and knife looking for trouble. But the night turned left for Dotty and his friend, and ended up with Dotty being chased down by 20 young boys. And when the boys caught up to him, they stabbed him 13 times altogether. Oh. Which actually resulted in Dotty dying, which four 16 year old boys from Hackney and Tottenham were sentenced and convicted for. So 51st were mad about this situation, obviously, that their member Dotty was just stabbed to death. So they were out trying to get 
get revenge. So they went out for revenge in a stolen BMW and travelled all the way from Camden in North West London to Hackney in East London and then to Tottenham in North London because that's where the people who killed Dottie were from. But they ended up finding no one from both areas. But they weren't trying to go home without spilling some blood first. So 51st went all the way back to Camden to look for 71st members and found an affiliate member of 71st called AK and killed him. But they weren't done there. They were riding for a whole another two hours looking for more 71st members and found the 71st member called Mitch's little brother. Mitch's little brother attempted to run into a cab and begged the driver to drive him to safety like... but the driver refused to move and he was dragged oh, out of the cab and stabbed to gosh. death by 51st members. All within two hours of their first murder they committed that night and six members were sent to life for these murders. For then on September 4th 2017 a member from 51st called Flips and the older brother of the second boy who died that night called Mitch bumped into each other on oh, Hampstead Road yeah. in Camden and started getting into a little altercation which ended with Flips stabbing Mitch in his arm, neck and back, leaving the knife lodged into Mitch's bones and murdering him. An undercover policeman just happened to witness this whole situation and ran down Flips and arrested him and now Flips is serving 17 years to life for this murder. After this the beef in Camden went under some serious investigation by police mm -hmm. and members from all sides started to get taken down for conspiracies, firearms and drug charges and the beef started to die down a bit. But then 2019 hit and quite a lot of the members that were locked up started to come out and taking in consideration that 51st members just before everyone started going prison and killed three 71st members. 71st members started coming out of prison on some demon time and were most definitely looking for revenge with no warnings. The first signs that 71st was really back was on a cold Tuesday in February. 1am in the morning a 51st member called G Squeeze was walking past the Sainsbury's in Camden when a 4x4 crashed into him and several 71st members jumped out on him like a pack of wolves, stabbing him repeatedly in his head and body, I've leaving him literally too. paralyzed and not being able to walk. But that wasn't enough for 71st members. They wanted someone dead for their friends. So on okay. April 1st, 2019, a suspected member of 51st called C. Miz and his cousin were walking down Grafton Road in Gospel Oak Camden when four 71st members jumped out a stolen black car and started chasing them. C. Miz and his cousin split oh, up, but unfortunately oh, the gosh, men who jumped out of the car locked onto C. Miz and C. Miz ended up dropping to the ground when the 71st members started to stab him repeatedly with machetes and then run from the scene. After this murder, 71st members made a song called Congo and the reason why they called it Congo is because C. Miz was actually a refugee from Congo after him and his flag fled the war from over there and members repeatedly in their songs say that they get their weed from Congo not Cali pretty much just trying oh, to say that they're smoking bro. on sea mills and as I said before the majority of these 71st members are Somalian so after all this there was news going about in Camden that 51st members were out on the lurk and any Somalian they see they're killing heard some really strong intelligence that there is going to be revenge for Calvin's killing and his friends are have literally said they are going to go out and kill any Somali in retaliation. So I just want to make that really clear. This is from a young Somali woman in Camden who's 24 oh, years old. Oh, we got a fucking informant. And basically, they are... You damn right. We... Um, so this is best. They're going to go out tonight and kill a Somali. Which is probably a bit of a stretch. But on the other hand, 71st members kept saying that they're warring with Jaliz, which is basically the Somalian word for West African people. Because you have to remember, despite Somalians being dark skinned and African, a lot of Somalians don't really see themselves the same as other black people. So this was kind of turning into a race war between Somalian and black wow. people in Camden, which is just all wrong for so many reasons. But 71st weren't happy Come enough on, with the killing of Simiz. They wanted to spill more blood. So August 12th, 2019, Six members started circling the states of 51st members in a stolen Ford Fiesta and a stolen Sia. When they spotted 16 year old culprit and other members coming out of a restaurant around 10.30 pm, culprit and other members ran to a nearby set of blocks near Houston Road. But 71st members found them later on that night and three members jumped out and chased them down, catching up to the 16 year old 51st member called culprit. Culprit was running for his life and literally screaming for help, banging on neighbors' doors to let him in so he could escape his attackers. But when the 71st members caught up to him. Two 71st members held him while a third member repeatedly pushed a one foot long zombie killer knife through his chest. Oh my effing goodness, yo. Oh my gosh. Like, how the fuck is this real? How, are we, how is what we're talking about real? What the fuck, man? Yo. And that nigga's a damn baby. That nigga's a... Yo. Oh my goodness, yo. Oh my gosh, bro. This goes back to what I was saying, and I, I forgot which video, but yo. The UK got it. They got it. Niggas be downplaying the fucking blades and all these...
niggas got it. Because, man, I ain't going to lie. And God forbid, but this over this any day. Because, yo, what the fuck? But, hey, man, hey, God protect me from either or. All right. That is fucking, this is damn insane. This is fucking outrageous is what the fuck that is. What the fuck, yo? Oh my goodness, I'm not even about to repeat the scene I just heard. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to, I ain't got no other comments besides this being outrageous. Why it was coming out of his back and when the 71st members were done the killers were said to be running away after laughing hysterically Which is what bystanders said and culprit. He was just any normal kid from London He was talented at football and even like. had trials for Southampton Football Club But started getting involved in the local gang and brushed aside his football and unfortunately became a victim of the streets Now as these back and forth normally go 51st were now looking for revenge on their recent L's and there were many stabbings across the month they got And early on that? in September there was a case of three killings in five days in Camden one of these being a man from a completely different area all the way in East London but unfortunately he was walking at the wrong place at the wrong time so he was actually walking on Queen's Crescent Estate which is a hotspot for 51st members and was shot and killed in a drive-by being mistaken for a 51st member just an hour before another woman was stabbed to death just a few hundred yards from the situation and four days later a 71st what? member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes outside one of the busiest no, members called Nuts was stabbed what's what's to death on? just a few hundred yards from the situation and Two four days later, a 71st member called Nuts was stabbed to death by a gang of 51st members with machetes outside one of the busiest areas in London, Camden Tube Station. And for the longest, a lot of people didn't even know all this stuff was going on until a 71st member called right, Suspect started around. jumping on the drill scene, calling himself the Camden Grim Reaper and releasing yeah, some yeah. of the most disrespectful tunes towards his ops. So much that police take down pretty much any song that the gang uploads, which really started to bring some attention to what's happening down there and definitely got the attention of me, especially a song from Suspect called Doug out, which is probably one of the most disrespectful songs I've ever heard and really makes you deep how tapped this whole beef is. In one of his lines he says Same place we used to play run out, the same place his chest got dug out. Same place I was telling you play out, it's the same place I'm telling you come out. <laughs> which really makes you think, damn these guys were close friends at one time and now they're trying to kill each other. All stemming from a little small altercation that happened a couple years back. But anyway guys that's it for today's video and peace out. Yo. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted right now, man. I ain't got nothing else to say besides RP. To everyone that has passed away that was mentioned in this video. Man, what the fuck is even going on? Man, y'all stay safe out in the UK, man. Oh boy, this, this is... Wow. Wow. Anyways, links in the description again too. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Yeah, take it easy. Good book, 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 book. Good book.